when you uh, reformed Carcass, um, did it feel the same than uh, it was all those years ago, years ago? No, it's it's better now. <laughs> I don't know, it's What's changed? People seem to be interested in what we're doing, so <laughs> and, and that that's nice to be appreciated. So, and there's uh, not to be vulgar. There's more money involved nowadays, so um, it just seems like the whole metal scene, the extreme metal scenes, exploded since we were around. Not many people were into bands like Carcass, I don't think, or that's how it felt. And now extreme music. It, well, it was big. Maybe it's dying off again now. But it, the whole metal scene just seems bigger, you know. There were no festivals when we existed, yeah. ex except for Dynamo in Holland. That was the only festival that existed in the late '80s, early '90s. And now you can't fall out of bed without bumping into a festival. So, uh, was there any weird moments at the, those times that you played in a totally wrong place? Um, is Israel the wrong place? <laughs> we played there twice. I mean. Uh, <laughs> We played in Croatia during the Balkans War as well, so Northern Ireland when the troubles are on. So we've been some strange places. Uh, we get around, you know. Uh, but was it clear from the beginning that you are going to make a new album still? Now another new yeah, album. Yeah. It's 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 plausible and very likely, but don't hold your breath. You know, it might be another <laughs> another seventeen years. Who knows? Um, how long do you do you plan? Wha what are you gonna do with Carcass? We don't plan. Have you not noticed? <laughs> well, it took 17 years to make an album, so you know we just roll along doing our own thing. We get offered to do things, and we do them. There's no great master plan or scheme to what we do. Um, it's, it's just the stars aligning, a bit of luck, you know. But did it feel like uh, basically coming back home when you started to tour again? Um, not like coming home, no, because like I said earlier, we've never had the attention that we're receiving nowadays, or for want of a better word, the love that we perceive we're getting, you know? I mean, we just did a sign-in, and uh, it was mostly young kids, not to be patronizing, you know? It's not people of our generation, it's like a new generation of metal kids, and it's really cool, you know? You would assume it's just, we're just going to attract all the old school people from the old days, but we seem to have attracted a younger audience as well, so that's uh, kind of sweet. <laughs> so there is um, a lot of different generations on your shows? Yeah, but you know, grandparents are bringing their kids now, so... <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> it feels great, because in my head I still think I'm 17, but my body betrays me, so... Uh, <laughs> you know, Peter Pan syndrome, we still think we're... That's what we do here, we're still immature kids, you know? Asenne on rock. Radio Rock.